signing uh, one of my friends, Jay-Z, and I'm excited about it. I'm here supporting him. Uh, of course, I'm a fan of the magazine, so that goes without saying. And so uh, this is really a special night, and I'm happy that he's getting honored and get a person who has done a lot, not only in his uh, field, but also giving back to the community, too. So, uh, and he's a fashionable guy, so it all works. Just being confident and being, uh, um, you know, uh, very, very, uh, I don't want to say sensitive because I'm a manly man and it's a gentleman's quarterly, but being conscious of others. I've had like a whirlwind year, like just amazing things that happen. Sponsorship deals and just a bunch of stuff, but this is like the tops, you know, to be with the, to me the creme de la creme, you know, this year, especially with like Spike Lee and Al Gore and like my boss Jay-Z, so it's like to be right there with them is like amazing. Uh, well, uh, this is the GQ Men of the Year party. Um, I am heading the valet service, uh, which is great. We got a, a great group of guys, uh, 12 guys in all. I think I think we're doing, we've only lost three cars so far, but I think we're gonna find them before the end of the night. And uh, so that's why I'm here. Well, apparently, uh, I have been nominated for some great honor as a uh, co-worker of the year. And there's a lot of hunky guys here tonight, a lot of successful guys. Spike Lee, we've got Al Gore back there. Uh, I'm representing all the uh, pale, washed out, dorky office drones. So those are my peeps, and I'm representing. If I got my hand on the pulse of everything as far as music, fashion, yada, yada, just, just I just want to do it better. You know, each year to get better. Better music, you know, better fashion. and. Uh, just hopefully keep it going. I, I am a man, and this is a year. Therefore, I'm one of the men of the year, apparently. I mean, it's, a, it's something of a mystery to me, but here I am. Uh, uh, renegade, I guess that's my title, or, or pain in the ass. I'm not sure which it was, but I got the uh, most votes in the one category, and here I am. It's a huge room, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of money in the room, a lot of, a lot of talent in the room, you know? A lot of respect in the room, and, and I'm honored to be a, a part of it. It's, uh, of course, very flattering for them to ask me to be a part of this, and it's an opportunity for me to say again that this message that's in the movie, An Inconvenient Truth, is one I hope everybody will, will share. The boys from Jackass are here tonight. Gentlemen, true visionaries, true visionaries, because you know what, most people, most people, on beholding a household object, will say, why would I ever want to shove this uh, can opener, this firecracker, this skill saw up my ass? But the guys from Jackass, they look at that same household object and they say, why not? Thank you, sirs. Yeah, a lot of people, uh, Lindsay Lohan had a Hyundai that was pretty sexy. Um, Al Gore, ironically, came in a Hummer. Uh, I mean, I loved his documentary, he's trying to save the planet, yet he pulls up in a, in a Hummer. That makes, doesn't really make any sense, does it? You know, for me, it's just great to feel like I've won something. You think that's funny?